This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. It is 9 a.m. and we are kicking things off with a live look at art in the park in St. Louis Hills. We'll learn when you can head out there and what you'll find in a live interview in about 15 minutes. You can see a lot of people out there getting set mm -hmm. up. It is Sunday, September 24th, and I'm Holden Krewicki. Travis Cummings, Mercedes McKay, and Tracy Henson have the day off, so I'm joined by... Wait, who are you again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Weather First Meteorologist Scott Cottle. Uh, Scott, uh, you're joining us bright and early this morning because mm -hmm. there's some possibility for some showers today. There may be some showers around today, but, you know, it's not widespread rain. Most of the day is going to feature dry conditions, so okay. it's pretty good. And, and, you know, everybody else is off apparently to enjoy that <laughs> good weather here from five on your side. So. You know, we're looking at this point at a mostly cloudy sky around the St. Louis area. This is out in St. Charles right now. There's some sunshine as the back edge of the clouds, at least uh, the clouds that are a little bit thicker, is sliding through the metro area at this point. And so we do think as we head through the morning and into this afternoon, we're going to see at least some sunshine. Right now you see the clouds a little thicker from St. Louis and then going to the south, but any substantial rain has been well to our southwest and there's nothing back to the west really at the moment that is raising any concerns. We're back up to 72 degrees right now. That dew point at 57. Temperatures mostly in the 60s away from town. They're going to jump with a bit of sunshine fairly early this morning, and we will see those temperatures in the low to mid 80s by early this afternoon. Now, here's the thing. As we get the chance of some scattered showers around this afternoon, you get under one of those, you drop your temperatures back into the 70s. But most of us are not going to see a lot of rainfall today, so you just have to keep your eye on the sky, have your Weather First radar handy on the Five on Your Side app, and we'll keep you updated. All right, thank you, Scott. Right now, we're working to learn more about a crash that happened early this morning in Jennings. A car crashed into this home at Jennings Station in New Halls Ferry. You can see the interior and exterior damage to the living area. Our crew on the scene spoke with the homeowner who says driving is a problem at this intersection. I record all the accidents on this car. But it did never hit the house, but now it hit the house. This car hit the house. No word on any injuries or arrests. We have contacted St. Louis County Police, and right now we're still waiting to hear back. We'll update you when they get back to us. All new at 9, less than two hours ago, we learned about a new push from St. Louisans seeking to be included in Senator Josh Hawley's new legislation. This federal bill would compensate victims of government testing. In the 50s and 60s, the U.S. Army used blowers on top of buildings and in station wagons that spread a potential carcinogen into the air near the Pruitt Ego apartment homes. Our I-team looked into this lawsuit on the case back in 2012. My mother passed from cancer. Uh, I had a, a little sister who was born in Pruitt Igo who suffered from Down syndrome. Uh, there was a sister who only lived for less than a couple of months who died right after childbirth. Uh, I had a, a tumor that, that was developed in my left ear. Right now, it's unclear if Hawley will expand his bill to include Pruitt Igo. To read more about this developing story, head to the As Seen on TV section of KSDK.com. Five billion dollars. That's how much money experts predicted the economy would lose if the United Auto Workers strike lasted at least 10 days. Today is day 10 and more union members are now on the picket line. The UAW strategy is to announce targeted strikes on short notice. They're focusing on plants that will force other facilities to stop production due to lack of parts. Today, Congresswoman Cori Bush will visit with striking GM workers in Wentzville. She'll be joined by fellow squad member, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The Congresswoman will be there at 3 this afternoon, and so will we. Join us here on 5 on your side at 5 and 10 tonight to hear what they have to say. Tomorrow morning at 7, the nurses at SLU Hospital will go on strike for 24 hours. On September 1st, 94% of the National Nurses Organizing Committee at SSM Health SLU voted in favor of a strike. They're concerned over patient care, safe staffing, and workplace violence. SSM Health claims the nurses who are, are the ones who refuse to come to the bargaining table. 
The nurses gave SSM Health 10 days notice so the strike uh, so that they could make alternate plans for patient care. We will continue to update you on air and online on the UAW strike and on the Five on Your Side app. It's free on your phone's app and in the App Store. For the first time in 13 years, Mizzou returned to St. Louis for Zoo to the Lou. Last night, thousands of Tiger fans joined hockey fans downtown as the Blues kicked off their preseason. Business owners in the area tell us the combo is doubling profits this weekend. Mizzou alone had to pay the St. Louis Sports Commission $150,000 for event management. Five on your side's Diamond Palmer explains how business owners are cashing in on the hype. Saturday, thousands of Blues, Mizzou, and Memphis Tigers cheering on their favorite teams. And Sugar Fire Smokehouse in downtown St. Louis says barbecue should always be a part of the party. The restaurant says profits will be double this weekend. We're going to do about 50% more than we normally do. <laughs> the Mizzou game brought over 45,000 fans to downtown, and they left happy. Both the Tigers and the Blues won last night. Our Corey Miller will break down the top plays in our next half hour. Tomorrow you can voice your opinion on how the Ram settlement money should be handled at a public St. Louis Board of Aldermen meeting. The city is getting $250 million. The meeting is over Zoom tomorrow night. The Zoom link is on the Board of Aldermen's website and there will also be public meetings in October and December.